What are some interesting or fun Christmas traditions you follow? My family is big into trophies so when we gather every other year, we make gingerbread houses and we vote on those. Not only that but there's a trophy for best wrapping on the present. Last year the theme was as seen on TV so I bought a toilet light and built a cardboard toilet, with lights in the bowl and ended up winning. I make tamales with my wife. Does taking edibles to go deal with family for 4 to 12 hours count? Cause, we do that a lot in my house. Getting drunk, easy and fun tradition. We drive around Christmas Eve in our jammies at night and see all the light people put up for the year. Free and cozy. Start roasting crockpot, eat breakfast, partner and I eat mushrooms, open presents and enjoy the rest of the day lol. Giving our animals toys. They look so happy every time smile. Christmas day shinny game, pick up outdoor hockey played with boots not skates. This year will be the first year our family hasn't played it since probably the 50s or 60s. Each year we cut around off the bottom of our Christmas tree. We label it with the year. Over time it makes a sweet display slash reminder of years past. Every year my dad hides a pickle ornament in the Christmas tree. Whichever kid finds it is the first to open presents. We've done it since I was 5. I'm now 35 and he still does it. Something I stick to very dearly. Order pizza and watch The Expendables 1, 2, and 3 reruns on repeat. And then I have to get off my ass and get dressed for the yearly Christmas party my family does. The younger family members started a gift wrap ball throwing tradition at least 40 years ago that continues to this day. The adults just gave up, smiley face. Scrooged Christmas Eve. Hotboxing the minivan late at night in PJs. Fancy dress on Christmas day. Every year is a different theme. I watch Osmosis Jones on Christmas Day every year. As kids on December 5th myself and two siblings had to have our Christmas lists ready for Santa. He would come on Saint Nick's Day, December 6th, take our lists and leave a small wrapped toy. Had to keep the wrapping paper too, so you knew which presents were yours. On Christmas morning, no labels, we each had our own style of wrapping paper. The tradition in our house was whatever you got for Christmas, you had to wear to the pub at lunchtime on Christmas Day. I've been to the pub in PJs, four pairs of socks, running vest and shorts, etc etc. We make waffles for breakfast Christmas morning. It's not a crazy traditions, but it's one my husband and I made for our kids. My intermediate family started a tradition a few years ago on the eve of Christmas Eve. We call it Feliz Navi Christmas, in true white dad joke fashion, and do a little themed white elephant exchange at our hometown Mexican restaurant. We've become friends with the owners over the years and it's become my favorite tradition, even though I'm an adult and have my own traditions now. We have a couple. The first Christmas song you listen to every year has to be by Alad Jones. My nan is Welsh as is Alad, so it's a nice way to bring that heritage in. Second, family advent that includes the pets. My aunt found this DIY advent stockings kit in Hobbycraft years ago, but to make it even, we had to include the dogs, and now it would be mean to not involve them in the advent. Stockings must contain a mini Lego set. We all bring them down after breakfast to build them and create a stupid story with them. The Christmas tree gives us presents too. We get stockings, gifts from each other, including the dogs, and the tree. It's normally something small, like a pair of earrings, but one year, I got us all custom Lego mini figures in plastic baubles. I'm going to miss the ones we can't do this year, our place is too small, the finances aren't great and my partner's not keen on the commercial aspects of Christmas, but I've told him that once we own a place and there are little ones around, they're coming back. We make baklava every year. Cinnamon rolls. It's just not Christmas morning if I'm not trying to find a way to eat one of those without it getting all over my hands. My French class inspired me to do this but every year my family makes a Yule log cake. I put my Christmas list on the tree. 
I'd kiff this is really that special, but my sister and aunt gets jigsaw puzzles each year. This year they got one with 2000 pieces and one with 5000. Happy Cake Day BTW. My family own a Chinese takeaway and we close on Christmas Day slash Boxing Day but are open Christmas Eve. Any rice that we didn't sell on Christmas Eve was brought home and we use the leftovers from Christmas dinner to make Christmas fried rice. Quite honestly, Christmas has never been a good holiday for me. My Christmas always takes place a few days before December 25th, at a friend's annual holiday party. Fuck COVID-19 and wear your masks. Apparently, there is a Christmas bat on our tree now. The animal, not the baseball equipment. I didn't know why. We always get a takeaway on Christmas Eve. The host doesn't do all the cooking, we each have a designated food to bring which we bring every year until we are too old to continue then we pass it to the next generation. Makes the day run smoother, my foods are the ham and trifle. Every Christmas Eve my dad and I go duck hunting and that's something that me and him get to enjoy. My stepmom has a little elf on the shelf that we call Alfie. Every night she moves the elf into different places and we all act surprised for my little brother. We all party at my great uncle's house. Adults get blackout drunk and the kids knock themselves out sledding into trees. Well, of course everything is different this year, but usually I would treat myself on the day of Christmas Eve by going shopping for myself and family members. Sounds weird, but there's something about wearing headphones and walking through the city center of Amsterdam watching people. On Christmas Eve itself I would then go to the theater and watch a play, by myself. There I would usually talk with the other patrons, mostly end up having a couple of drinks afterwards. On the first day of Christmas, as we in the Netherlands have two, I would visit my grandparents and have dinner with the entire family, whilst unpacking of presents. It's not much, but I love the me time, immediately followed by the family time. Taco Bell on Christmas Eve. Every year for 20 plus. Every Christmas morning, my mom pulls out the upside down cinnamon pull apart that Santa threw into the oven before leaving. It's always delicious. Not as interesting as all the other ones but we play Christmas bingo every year, with prizes. It's pretty cool. Christmas Eve night when it's dark load the kids up, grab MCD, drive the neighborhoods looking at everyone's Christmas displays. Come home open one present before bedtime. Pandemic aside, having a homecoming evening with my friends as we all converge in our old hometown where we proceed to play board games and get plastered. We set up the Lego village. I started collecting the Lego Christmas set they bring out each year. And every year the family and I build the village from scratch. We put on music, have some cookies and build Lego. It takes us a couple of nights these days because we have seven sets, but it is fun nonetheless. Jewish Christmas. Chinese food and a movie. We celebrate Christmas Eve on Christmas Day, such as opening presents, carols, act. We also make cola keys and we do it when my aunt and uncle come visit. I get stressed out and cry a lot. That's fun isn't it? My dad's mom used to read Santa Mouse to me and my cousins. It was a book about Santa's helper who was a mouse. So for my whole life we have left out milk and cookies for Santa, and cheese and crackers for Santa Mouse. In return Santa Mouse would put gift cards or cash into the tree itself. So after opening presents you hunt in the tree for Santa Mouse's gifts. Definitely a tradition I will carry on to my kids down the road. We eat pizza on Christmas Eve. We have a pickle ordainment we hide on the tree and people have to find it. Every year my family does Mexican Christmas on December 23rd. About a decade ago for Christmas my mom hired a bartender from his favorite Mexican restaurant to come and teach him to make margaritas. And now every December 23rd we have a massive party where basically anyone is invited, there is a ton of Mexican food, and my dad spending the whole night shaking margaritas. On Christmas my family parties on Christmas Eve until midnight. Once the clock hits 12 we open presents and celebrate. Proceed to sleep through most of Christmas and set off fireworks. 
I work at a grocery store and every Christmas Eve I show up in a buddy the elf onesie which everyone loves. On Christmas Eve we make a special type of bread. We put a coin in it while kneading the dough and when the bread is baked we have to follow some rules for cutting it. The first piece you should give is to God, the second to the house, then to the oldest member of the family and so on until the youngest is the last one. Whoever finds the coin in their piece of bread, will have lots of luck in the new year.